There was no chance for a rest after a busy Christmas day, as once again hundreds turned out to see the meeting of the hounds and the horses. <laughs> The first horses arrived shortly after 10.30 in the morning and were soon joined by the dogs and other horses with some young riders donning a bit of festive tinsel in their helmets. Unfortunately, because of the icy conditions, not all the horses could make it out and no hunt went ahead but it didn't stop the mix of young and old coming to see them. Very icy today, we won't be hunting today. We'll be just down to come and see the town. They, gave us, they always give us fantastic support, so we, we make an effort to get in here. There aren't many horses here because we can't get them out at home, you know, the weather's awful. So we haven't been hunting now for, for a week, so uh, I don't think the forecast is much better for next week either. So. Uh, that's how it is. How does it make you feel to see everyone out? Uh, oh, it's fantastic. I mean, these are the Tivan Foxhounds, and you know, it's the home pack, the town pack, and every year the crowd just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just fantastic, yeah. So, uh, pity we can't have all the horses in here as we normally do, but you know, that's the way it is. Former MEP and prospective parliamentary candidate for Tiverton and Honiton, Neil Parrish, was there to support the hunt and said that if the Conservatives win the general election in 2010, they will be asking for a repeal of the fox hunting ban which came into force under Tony Blair's Labour government in 2005. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can see by the number of people around here how much they, they support it, uh, and it's good for the countryside, good for Tiverton, um, and it's great to see it carry on. They will go trailing, but well, probably not today because it's too frosty, but they just go trailing, and when we get a general election, if there is a Conservative government, we will vote for a repeal of the Act, Hunting Act. Do you think hunting will play a key role in next year's election in areas like this? I think where it is very important to people, and this is a constituency that is very rural, uh, a lot of hunting people, uh, yes it will. Um, not in every constituency, but in this one in particular it will do. And despite the previous day's activities, Father Christmas was there to help collect money to support the Tiverton Foxhounds. <laughs> so you're collecting money for hunt staff. Yes. What does the money go towards that people are doing today? That's all the work that they've done over the years, looking after the horses, the hounds, and all the work that they put into it. It's our little collection from everyone to say thank you. All right. And how much are you hoping to collect today? Wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have a clue. Is this the first time you've collected for hunt? No, 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 no. Do it every year. Right. First, Santa first time in Santa Claus. I've right. been an idiot, you and know. How much, how much do you always fetch? Oh, about yeah. two, three hundred quid. Then, just after eleven o'clock, speeches were made before they galloped through the town centre to the cheers of the people lining the streets. On behalf of my joint masters, it's always a great privilege to bring the hounds into Tiverton, and your support is absolutely fantastic and very much appreciated. It seems to grow year on year. You'll, many of you will appreciate hunting at the moment is, hasn't been easy under the current uh, legislation. We, we have kept going and I said to you many years ago we'll keep coming back here every year until that's straightened out. Uh, we have Neil Parrish here today, a local MP, and he will talk to you about the repeal procedure. But in the meantime, I'd just like to thank everyone that hunts with us, our supporters and landowners, for the wonderful support and yours today. I okay. hope you have a, a very Merry Christmas and a peaceful and Happy New Year. Uh, hounds will be leaving by the normal route up the road and then through the main street. And uh, there aren't too many horses here today. As you can see, we're, we're all struggling a bit with the weather, but we were determined to get here today because we knew you would be here to see us. So thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated. Thank you. <coughs> Oh!
I just wanted to very much here to be this morning to support the hunt, to support the hounds here and support what they're doing here in Tiverton. I am Neil Parrish. I will replace, all being well, uh, Angela Browning at the election. I will be the Conservative candidate. I pledge my full support to put right what has gone wrong with the Hunting Act. We need a repeal and we need to do it when we get back to power, all being well. So you have my full support. I'm glad to see you here this morning. Do be careful with this frosty weather and it's great to see everybody here. I think the banning of hunting has actually brought about huge crowds, probably more than we'd had before. So good luck to everybody and let's put it right when we get back to power. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dale. As you can see, there's not so many horses here today as there normally are due to the icy conditions and the cold, uh, which has meant the horses have had to stay at home in their stables, but hasn't stopped the people of Tiverton gathering here on 4th Street in their hundreds this morning to see the annual tradition, which the huntsmen say will continue. I'm Lewis Clark, reporting from 4th Street in Tiverton.